Welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Uh, today I'm returning back to Aaron again. I recently just did a video on the Aaron 14. I uh, will pop a link to that. If you've not seen it already, you may want to go back and check it out. Uh, today, yeah, Aaron 18, 46% ABV, non chill filtered, natural colour, and as again, I have my trusty sample. Uh, I'll use this review today to decide whether it's worth going out and buying the full bottle. So I'll come back to you later on and give you my opinion on that. So again, today without any further ado, if you're a returning subscriber then thanks very much and welcome back. If you're watching for the first time you may want to consider clicking the subscribe button down below and kept up to date with future uh, videos that I release. Super, okay, housekeeping done. The whiskey, I'm going to try and make this a short one today guys. Um, I'm a bit conscious, my videos are dragging out a little bit longer than maybe they should be. So I'm just going to just crack straight on, give you a nose, taste, finish, uh, and whether I'd buy it or not. So again, on the nose guys. Okay, straight away, it's up front, it's... It's very fresh, clean, it's fresh fruit. Get some apples and pears. Lots of vanilla, lots of honey. Sure they're coming from the bourbon casks. I think this is um, being matured in a mix of first fill bourbon casks and refill bourbon casks and I think there's a touch of sherry in there so there may be a, bit, a little bit of sherry not much sherry but there's a little hint of sherry in there okay again sultanas, raisins grapes lots of fruit touch of peach apricot banana Wow, this is a really nice nose, guys. There's a lot going on. It's getting a little bit complex. Little hint of spice in the background. I think it's cinnamon. Okay. On the palate. Okay, that's beautiful. There's no heat. Considering it's 46%, it's really, really nice. Easy to drink. Again, that fresh fruit's there. It's as it arrives, it's fruity. A little bit of lemon, lemon oil maybe. Touch of lime as well. So it's a little bit of lemon, lime, citrus, and the spice is a bit of ginger spice there now as well. And as it goes through the development, it's, it stays very, very fruity. And there's lots of fruits there. I'm getting a big, big pineapple note, some banana, some peach, some apricot, apples, pears. Wow, this is it's really, really fruity. And it's getting, a, as it goes through the development, it's getting a little bit more spicy. There was a ginger and the cinnamon. Try a second sip. Okay. A little bit of marzipan. It's going a little bit nutty, maybe a little bit of almond. So this is there's lots and lots going on with this whiskey guys. Whoever's put this together has done a fantastic job at Aaron. It's truly, truly wonderful stuff. As I say in my last video I did the 14 year old which I thought was a great great whiskey as well. When you compare it to this, they're both bottled at 46% ABV. But this Again, it's just a little bit more complex. It's a little bit older. It's a super, super whiskey. They're both both fantastic whiskies, and I'd have no problem recommending any of these. And then again, there's lots of honey and lots of vanilla. It's just a beautiful, beautiful whiskey, and it's really easy. There's no alcohol burn. It's just so simple. 
course the palate beautiful. Just just regarding this whiskey with water guys, um I have had it before with water. Um it takes water really really well. Uh as I say it's a fantastic dram with a 46% ABV, it does well with water. It does change it quite a bit. It makes it it makes it a little bit lighter um in flavour. It, it's a little bit spicier. Uh, and it's still and it brings out much much more of the fruit. It's like a fruit basket with with water I know it's quite fruity without water, but it, it enhances all the fruits It's like that fruit bowl comes out grapes and apples and pears and pineapples bananas everything So if you if you have this bottle guys, uh, I'd recommend if you pour a couple of glasses this one with water one without water and I'm sure you'll find the difference. Uh, I'm not going to do water today, folks. Uh, I wanted to make this as quick as I could. Um, but it does change quite drastically and you actually get a very, very different whiskey uh, with water added to this. Um, so, on the finish. Okay. It's honey, vanilla, lemon. It's very, very delicate. It's spicy. The thing about this whiskey is it's beautifully balanced. It's it's an 18 year old, but it's it's still it's like a 10 or a 12. It's spirit it's still spirit driven, but it's got a beautiful cask influence as well. So they're beautifully balanced together. All in all, to make a wonderful, wonderful whiskey. It's a little bitter on the end, it's a little bit sour, a little bit bitter, but it's beautiful. I'd highly recommend this. Um, cost wise, I think it's around about £75 when I checked last. I'd have no trouble paying that £75 for that. Um, so if you see it in your area, have a go, pick it up, pull the trigger, all the usual stories. Um, if you've had it before you may want to pop a comment down below let me know how you got on with it and if you've liked the video um, you may want to consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell for future notifications so that's me guys I'm just gonna pop off quickly this was just a quick come in quick hitter uh, and get out and have a great time I'll look out for you look forward to seeing you all again very soon thanks very much bye